Hi friends, today we are going to discuss magnetically coupled circuits. As we know that in our day to day life, we have come across a lot of electrical networks. That means there we can see a physical connection between them. Whereas in magnetically coupled circuits, there is no any requirement of physical connection between the circuit elements but there must be a common magnetic field shared between them which is generated by one of the coil in the circuit so for example we can see a coil 1 and coil 2 and coil 2 is in the close proximity of coil 1 and suppose Coil 1 is excited by a time varying nature of current I of t and due to this time varying nature of current a magnetic field is generated by coil 1. A magnetic field is generated by coil 1 ok and coil 2 is in the close proximity of coil 1 that means some of the magnetic flux is cut by this coil 2 also assume that coil 2 is open in this case so that means here there is no any physical connection between these two but because of the time varying nature of current passing through the coil 1 some of the flux is cut by the second coil that means there is a magnetic coupling between these two that means what do you mean by a magnetically coupled circuits when one or more uh, when one or more circuit circuits or circuit elements or loops which shares a common magnetic field generated by one of the uh, loop is said to be magnetically coupled that means a magnetic coupling doesn't require any physical connection between them ok I think this part is clear to you and this magnetically coupled circuit can be divided into different sections that is first part is introduction in the introduction we will discuss what is self inductance L mutual inductance and second part is equivalent inductance and third part is fourth part is solve problems ok before prior to equivalent inductance we will cover one small section that is dot convention ok ok so through these five sections we will cover magnetically coupled circuits completely ok so let's start with the introduction self inductance ok self inductance what is the unit of self inductance we know it's unit of self inductance is Henry which is denoted by H and let us consider a coil L1 which is excited by a time varying nature of current I of T and since due to this time varying nature of current a magnetic flux is created a magnetic flux is generated and according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction whenever the magnetic flux 
linked with this coil changes and emf is induced in it and emf is induced in it which is nothing but self induced emf here we can say e as self induced emf that is we can write e equal to n into d phi by dt what is phi phi is the flux created by this coil okay n into d phi by dt and this flux what is the cause for this flux generation that is the time varying nature of this current so we can split this term as d phi by di into di by dt okay we can replace this here i considered only the magnitude of induced emf and uh, we have already know there will be a negative sign when do as per lenz's law what is lenz's law says this nature of induced emf is always likely to oppose the cause producing it that's why um, here we consider a negative but in this case i am neglecting this negative i am consider only the magnitude for the sake of simplicity okay and i am replacing this n into d phi by di as l l into di by dt what is l l is nothing but our self inductance so i can so i can say into self inductance l as n into d phi by di d phi by di okay and its unit is henry so how we can define self inductance self inductance is the rate of change of flux linkage in a coil due to the time varying nature of current passing through the same coil okay same coil that is important that's that's why it is called self inductance or e as self induced emf and n is nothing but number of turns n equal to the number of turns of the coil number of turns of the coil okay so next we can see what is mutual inductance mutual inductance same way mutual in the unit of mutual inductance is also what henry and and here we have to consider one more coil one more coil okay one more coil l1 l2 okay and as in self induced emf there we have considered only one coil but in mutual inductance mutual induced emf thus coil 2 is present in the neighborhood of coil 1 or is in the close proximity to coil 1 as the magnetic flux created by this coil 1 links with coil 2 there may be some induced emf in this coil 2 okay there may be some induced emf in this coil 2 due to the time varying nature of current passing through the first coil as you can see there i there i have considered no any uh current source or voltage source it is open circuit here i assume it as open circuit okay and in the same way as we have derived self inductance we can derive mutual inductance same way according to faraday's law mutual induced emf em is equal to n into d phi by di okay n in d phi by dt that is n into d phi by di into di by dt and we have to note down that this i is nothing but the current passing through the first coil i let it be i1 so we can make 
cannot on that okay d5 by di1 and i am replacing this d5 n into d5 by term as m into di1 by dt m into di1 by dt that is m mutual inductance is nothing but n into d5 by di di okay generally we can say like it like that generally we can say like this okay that is mutual inductance is nothing but mutual inductance is nothing but the rate of change of flux linkage in a coil due to the time varying nature of current passing through the other coil which both are the both are mutually coupled to each other okay both are mutually coupled to each other so i hope this part is also clear to you okay let's conclude this section today we'll resume with dot convention in the next lecture thank you